Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Rick Einhorn. And facility as a service is something that HP introduced after the, the Vegas Discover, or around right. Vegas Discover. Yep. What is that? So what it is is essentially, obviously you're very familiar with the concept of trying to take uh, uh, reduced capital expenditures, expenditures at our, at our end user clients today and move those, move those cap costs into uh, operating expenses over time. So with your IT, obviously, building data centers, designing, building, putting into place new data center strategies is a very heavy cost typically day one. So what we've developed is really a new methodology for putting a data center strategy into place that we call facility as a service. So I'm talking about the actual facility, the space environment, power cooling, the building itself, and deploying a model where the customer, much like HP's flexible capacity services where our customers can essentially lease the IT compute, in this case, they're actually leasing the physical building, prefabricated, flexible, flexible modular data center from us. So essentially, we go in, we will put a data center together on the, on their, the end user's premise. They will, in turn, lease, lease that facility back from us pay us monthly over a five year contract typically, could be longer, could be shorter, and we will provide the data center, all the power and cooling elements, the structure itself, uh, for them to put their IT equipment into uh, in an as a service model. Now, why would somebody want to do this and, and have a data center on, like sort of on premise, mm -hmm. built by HP, as opposed to just going with co-location? Well, I think what, that's a very good question, by the way. And I think what's most important, from my, from my view, is that with co-location, not only can it be more expensive, obviously, than, than owning your, your own, building your own, uh, but what typically the issues that you face in co-location are you're, you're sharing infrastructure, power supply, power supplies, generators, other critical infrastructure with uh, other users or other you know within a co-location or hosted type of facility. It's number one. Number two, you you're, you have potentially security issues, right? Because you don't own that building, you don't own that facility where your servers are sitting or your compute's sitting, so you don't know who is going in or who has the ability to access your servers. Now if I built my own data center, I would have to hire the people to take care of like the HVAC and the power and all of that. Sure. Is it, in this leasing model, do, does HP handle that? No, well typically, you know, from a facility management perspective, Either we, we would expect that the customer uses their own folks to manage the data center or works you know, with an outsourced type of uh, uh, facility or real estate management company. What we do is we'll come in on either a monthly basis, whatever the contract or the service level agreement calls for, and we will do testing and, and maintenance of the heavy infrastructure, the critical infrastructure that helps to power and to cool, to run that data center. We'll also come in from time to time and evaluate and, and optimize the performance of that of, of that data center. What happens when, when the lease is up? I mean, am I, am I just going to hand the data center back at the end of the lease? You have a couple of options. So, so I think what's important to, you know, is that typically we will sign, a, it'll be about, about a five year agreement or so, uh, Although it can be extended after that to a, a second agreement as well, we can also uh, uh, basically the company the company will have the option to the customer will have the option to buy the data center. The couple will have the option to, to hand it back to us if they feel that you know they no longer need that asset or no longer need to, to utilize that data center. And you know, uh, it, over time, and we certainly have the models that that, that we can show that. And, and the reason we went for contracts around a five-year period is that is that essentially, when you model out the cost of co-location versus uh, our model versus you know dis, uh, designing, building, owning your own data center, customer-owned data center, uh, there is uh, tremendous savings in in utilizing this model for the first five to seven years. Ultimately, after around eight, seven to eight years or so, it does end up the you know you're, you're paying out enough in the operating operating end to pay for what you would have paid eight years ago day one for that data center uh, but the reality is you've saved eight years of you know capital out out of uh, of that initial outflow in year one so this is really about you know if it, if it costs 10 million dollars to build a data center you've got that 10 million dollars mm -hmm. that you can apply to anything else and yep. and then you're just paid monthly to to Correct. use the 
data center capacity that you need. That's right, and and that's that's the you know really the dream of any C CFO, right? It's fair, you know for them to they can remove essentially an asset. Uh, from their balance sheet, right? And that lowers their, what they call return on asset or ROA ratio, which is great for any CFO. And they can still get, but the good thing is that they're not sacrificing their IT. They're not sacrificing what they need to deliver to the business. And uh, it makes the CIO, CTO happy because they're getting their IT requirements that they need. They're able to service the business, broker the services to their stakeholders. And the CIO, CFO, is happy as well because he's removed this tremendous, he or she has removed a tremendous uh, cost, capital outlay, uh, and moved that on to an OPEX uh, uh, scenario. So that's really the, you know, the basis in that. And that is, it really goes hand in hand, if you think about it, with that HP's flexible capacity concept where our customers are leasing ex uh, compute storage and network from, from uh, HPEG from our from our product uh, groups to meet the, their excess demands. So they, it's like a meter type of a scenario. So now you've got the ability to lease not only that hardware from HP, but you also have the ability to lease the facility itself, modular that you know mo modular facility, expandable facility. Uh, so you've got the entire, in a sense, sort of utility or flexible utility compute environment that you're being able to lease from HP and really no one else can, can offer the ability to, to take all those costs you know, a, a away from a capital standpoint and move it to the entire data center strategy to an OpEx model. All right, okay. well Rick, that sounds like a, uh, a great strategy for anybody who's, who's trying to rethink the way they're, they're doing you their bet. data centers. All right, great, thank you. Thanks.